Something big is happening in the world of AI and it's shaking up the industry. No, it's not another chat GPT update or a new release from OpenAI. This time, it's a brand new player on the scene. DeepSeek R1, an AI model that's already outperforming the best known models in ways that have experts seriously been talking. But why is this causing such a stir? Well, it's because DeepSeek R1 doesn't just answer questions like other AIs. It thinks. And I mean really things. It breaks down complex problems step by step, showing you exactly how it arrives at the solution. You just don't get an answer, you get the entire process from start to finish. That too in real time. This is the kind of AI that doesn't just solve problems, it solves the way we do. Now, here's a twist. DeepSeek R1 isn't from one of the usual AI giants like OpenAI or Anthropic. It was developed by High Flyer Capital Management, a hedge fund that's quietly been making waves in the AI world. In fact, their new DeepSeek R1 Lite review is already making headlines for its stunning performance on tasks like mathematical reasoning, logical inference, and real-time decision-making. Areas where even the best of the OpenAI's models often fall short. But why is this model such a game changer? It's because in 2024, the world is demanding AIs that can think logically and reason through problems. DeepSeek's ability to show its work is what sets it apart. While other AIs give you answers, DeepSeek lets you watch its thought process unfold. Think of it as the AI that doesn't just solve problems, but teaches you how to think like it does. And if you think that's all just a hype, let me tell you. Forbes isn't the only one buzzing about it. Even experts across the industry are pointing out that DeepSeek is outperforming model from heavyweights like OpenAI and Anthropic on tests that measures complex reasoning. It's already winning in some major AI benchmarks and it's only going to get better. So why is DeepSeek R1 such a big deal right now? And what does it mean for the future of AI in 2024 and beyond? Well, in this video, we will explore DeepSeek R1 starting with its unique capabilities and how it stands out from the other AI models. We'll also test its math reasoning and problem-solving skills, comparing it with models like OpenAI. Then we will examine the real-world application in fields like finance and tech. So let's dive in and see how it's shaping the future of AI. So at first, let us understand what is exactly DeepSeek Our Life Review. As you can see this tweet post, so DeepSeek Our Life Review is an AI tool which is similar to ChatGPT and is created by a Chinese company which is known as DeepSeek. The company announced this new model on X on November 20 and shared a few details. So I'll show you the documentation page over here. So this is a documentation page of DeepSeek API. And DeepSeek Our Life Review is meant to be really good at solving problem reasoning in maths, coding, and logic. It shows you how to think step by step so that you can understand how it comes up with answers and which help people to build trust more. So you can try out me on the website and the website name I'm going to show you. So you just have to simply go to Google and uh, type over here chat dot deepseek dot com as soon as you enter this you'll be uh, redirected to the six page so simply i'll just log in with the google account and here you can see this is the interface of our deep seek hour light model and uh, here we will enable this uh deep think uh preview which is a new feature over here and now let's start with our test and start testing whether deep seek this model is really that effective or worth the hype or not. So first we'll be doing the strawberry test, okay? So let's see what exactly is the strawberry test. So let's start with a very simple question, which is how many times does the letter R occur in the word strawberry? So this is our question over here and let us just check what would be the answer. So I didn't expect such a long reasoning process to what seems like a straightforward task. I thought that after counting the letter R and identifying the position of the word, it would have stopped there. But what's interesting to me is that it didn't stop. It double checked the counting a couple of times and even considered things like how people might pronounce or spell the word differently, which I think is a bit of redundant, especially the pronunciation part. But then that's how it does show how careful and thoughtful it is. 
So it just explained us every step by step and what process we can go through it. So let's move on to our second question, which would be a mathematical reasoning question. So a next question would be uh, if a triangle. So if a triangle has sides of three, four, five, what would be its area? So let's just check. So as you can see here, the deep sea cover model is getting our answers. And uh, it performs the checks I predicted, although in a different order. But then it's using all the steps and all the formulas and what would be the best to go with this question. So both the explanation and the output are particularly clear and easy to follow, which makes me think that this would be a fantastic model to embed in math students' system. For example, this is a particular use case. Maybe the thought process could be shown first and the student could interact with acknowledging whether they understood it or not. So that's a pretty uh, fast answer. Let's move on to our third question. So now let's ask a deep sig model or geometrical type of question, which is a bit tough and let's see what answer would it generate for us and uh, how it is it taking the logic building and the process. So as you can see, it is taking all the formulas and also it is considering the other uh, probabilities as well. So we'll just wait a few seconds. So as you can see, it has written root and messed up in a denominator. So it is even checking what mistakes has it generated, which is really good. It is just like as if somebody is solving this mathematical problem, but then in the form of AI. So that's really interesting. So now as you can see, it has given us the final answer and also step-by-step -step approach, which is well-known geometric formulas and applied them directly, which makes the reasoning very easy to follow. So the output is very clear and easy to follow. And across all these examples, it's been impressive to see how it consistently double-check calculations using different methods. The thought process is always detailed, logical, and very easy to understand. So for somebody who wants to actually learn or go through these mathematical problems, this model will give a very detailed explanation. So I would highly suggest using this. So let's now move on to our next question, which, which would be a coding test. So the first question would be, uh, implement a function in Python that finds the longest palindromic substring in a given particular string. The function should have a time complexity better than O n raised to the power 3. They go off n to the power 3. So let us just see what and what is the time complexity will it generate the answer for us to code. Let's just check it out. So as you can see it has given us the solution code here and also the explanation part and whatever the function it is using it has briefly mentioned the explanation about it and I think that the model did a very great job solving the problem and finding the longest palindromic substring. The approach was smart, efficient and clearly explained. So instead of just brute force method, every possible substring which would be slow, it used a very clever expand around sentence technique. And this method handled both odd length palindromes and even length palindromes as well, which was really clear and effective. So that was for the coding part. So now let's move on to a logical reasoning type of question and let's see what answer does it generate and uh, and we will also compare it with the OpenAI model here as well. So let's quickly check it out. A question here is a man has to cross a river with a wolf, a goat and a cabbage. His boat can only carry himself and one other thing. If left alone, the, wo the wolf would eat the goat and the goat would eat the cabbage. How can he get everything across safely? So let's quickly check out the answer. So as you can see, uh, it's thinking of the end of reading the answer for us. Also for the deep thing messages, uh, you can use 50 messages free per day. So we have already um, used 5 texts and we have 45 messages left for today. So as you can see, it has given a clear detailed explanation and it solved the problem really very well. I think it carefully uh, went through the rules and checked different possibilities. It understands that some pairs like the wolf 
and the goat or the goat the cabbage can't be left alone it also review the constraints at the starting it also reviews the constraints at the start starting from this it looks at what would happen if the man takes each item across the river first and walks out it creates any problem what i find really nice is about how the model adjusts its plan when something doesn't work for example when it tries taking the wolf first it realizes talking to the wolf first but realizes at the same time that it causes trouble and then rethinks the step this trial and error method feels very similar to how we as human might solve the puzzle ourselves so in the end the model comes up with a very right solution and explains it in a very clear and step by step way so as you can see i have given chatgpt to this question and this is the answer it has generated but then it wasn't that detailed as compared to the chief model so here i would read the chief model more because it gave me a very clear explanation with all the details that you can clearly see the difference out here so for anyone who wants to understand from depth can this deep seek model would be a great help so let's quickly have a look on the deep seek our life with the benchmarks so we have tested the model in real world conditions but how does it stack up against other ais on benchmarks like aime math and competitive programming languages so you have this on the screen we have compared it with aime math gpq the diamond code forces like code bench and also zebra logic so according to the benchmarks the seek our life review blows the competition out of the water when it comes to math and logic problems with a pass rate of 52.5% on the aime 2024 challenge it is really ahead of open ai's o1 preview and far surpasses models like gpt4 on complex math tasks so with this we have come to the last part of the section and here we will be comparing that who really wins at first you have seen that we have compared with the open ai model so let's just quickly test some questions and just check it out that with open ai which one performs much more better so now we will compare deepseek versus open ai o1 model with some command prompts to see who really wins in different categories so here i have this deepseek model so my first command for this test there's a math problem and it says solve for x in the quadratic equation 3x to the power 2 plus 5x minus 2 so let's quickly see this what answer is it giving and we will be comparing it with the openai oven model as well so as you can see it is giving us all the available solutions using different methods as well and see the first method the second method quadratic formula is basically giving you the full overview of all the methods in which you find easier and you can use that and here is our final answer so let's compare it with the open ai oven model as well so here i have this question and i'll just check for the answer it's taking a bit of time but let's wait for me So as you can see, it has only used one formula, which is the quadratic formula, and here we have the answer for this thing. But what I found is, uh, it provided a correct solution, but then it lacked. Uh, whereas our deep seek model, it provided much more detailed explanation. So I think our deep seek wins for this maths question as well. For the second comparison, I have a coding problem. So let's check for both. Uh, first, we will be checking for a deep seek model, and the coding problem is write a Python function to check if a given string is palindrome or not. And I'm waiting for the answer here. So as you can see, deep seek our life review model has provided us a correct solution along with a detailed breakdown of why each part of the code works as it is does. So let's check for the Owen model as well. So now, as you can see, for the coding task, uh, the Owen model has given us the solution, but then it provides a working solution with clear code, but it doesn't explain the logic behind it. Whereas the DeepSeek model had provided the logic and also the solution with each detailed breakdown. And I think for this also, the winner would be DeepSeek Owen Life Review because it provides better and clearer explanation. Now let's move on to the third test, which would be the logical reasoning. So here is my question: the logical reasoning, which is if a man has five apples and gives three away, 
how many hapils does he left with? So let's check for the deep seek model. So now you can see it has given us the answer and also the correct answer, but it has explained each and every logic to go through this question and why have we used this particular logic as well. So that's a pretty uh, breakdown detailed step by step explanation. Let's check for the open AI open model as well. So here I have my question. Let's wait for the answer. See, it has given us a straightforward answer, which is a prox to apples. But then it hasn't mentioned the logic behind it. Same as it was saying for the coding task. I think uh, since both of these models have provided the accurate correct answer, but here also the winner would be DeepSeek because it has provided with a lot of explanation and transparency as well. So this is the wrap up of the video today. And if you're looking for an AI that excels in reasoning, problem solving and transparency, it's definitely a contender. While OpenAI and other models are fantastic, DeepSeek brings something new to the table. Step-by-step -step logic, clear explanation with an edge when it comes to math and coding challenges. If you are interested to enhance your career in AI, here's some quick info. Check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI Machine Learning with Purdue University and IBM. This program is perfect for aspiring AI enthusiasts and professionals who are looking to switch careers and gain expertise in generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, extendable AI, machine learning algorithms, and many more. A year of experience is preferred. So hurry up and enroll now and you can find the course link in the description box and in the pinned comments. So that's it for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions and what do you think DeepSeek is the next big thing in AI or not. Or open AI is still the king of the hill. And just share your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos by Simply Learn. Thank you for watching. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.